Aaron Rodgers went on the Pat McAfee show yesterday, as he does every Tuesday, um, or did during the season at least. And um, he talked about his future, which I, he, obviously he didn't give us an answer as to whether or not he's playing next year. But he did talk about how well he thinks he can still play at 39 years old. Here's what he had to say. In 2019, we, you know, were feeling each other out on offense and and our defense played pretty damn good. And a lot of people said I was, uh, what did I say, washed, uh, couldn't really play anymore. Washed, yeah. Uh, wasn't the same. And then I won two MVPs in a row. Woo! Oh, hell yeah. Is that good? With, without really doing anything different. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of the same sentiment this year. Um, you know, I have a lot of comments about uh, a lot of that that I like to keep to myself or I'll share, you know, off air just because out of respect for the whole process. And But nice. um, do I still think I can play? Of course. Of course. Can I play at a high level? Yeah. The highest. I think I can win MVP again in the right situation. Um Right situation? Is that Green Bay or is that somewhere else? I'm not sure. All right, Rob, you heard it. What do you think? Spot on, absolutely wow. spot on. And I believe that uh, that's that's when you're at that level and you've done the things that he's done, you got to feel that way. That that's just that's the nature of the business. That's the nature of being an elite athlete who's accomplished things, who's set records, who's one day going to have their jersey retired and. And one day possibly put a statue, whatever it may be. Those are the comments of that guy. And he gave you the perfect example. Me and, and Bucky Brooks had a knockdown drag out fight. He said Aaron Rodgers was washed up in 2019. He should go finish his career with the Bears or something. I, you remember that whole speech. He, he went all out, Bucky Brooks on that. And then, of course, he had to gobble the words up because he came back and won two MVPs. Um, which were which were impressive. So, was this past year was totally disappointing. Uh, a lot of things didn't go right. He didn't play well. They had young receivers. They were working it. No, it just it was a, it was a it was a bad mix. It really wasn't good. But do I believe that he believes he still can play? And I'm not saying he's going to play this way his entire career. But I don't think that he's finished or he can't win an MVP or he can't play at a high level again. I think this was one of those seasons where a lot of things went wrong, including his play. Uh, and it, the Packers never lived up to where, what we thought they were going to be. And I mean, across the board, uh, including the offense and in games, you just saw Tom Brady throw 66 passes there were games this year, I don't know if Aaron Rodgers threw 20 passes. You know, they went to a run-heavy team or whatnot, and that's why he says, I don't know if it's at Green Bay or if it's somewhere else, but uh, if Aaron Rodgers became available, there's no doubt in my mind that 95% of the teams would be, would be interested in seeing if he can, or believing, I should say, that he can still play at a high level and they would love to have him. So I... I don't have any issues with him being confident about his ability. Rob Parker. Stop it! That's not right. The fa- you, you bring up, what, three, four years ago? When, when he had that six, nine, and one season, he was 35 years old. He can't compare that to the Aaron Rodgers now. He's 39. At some point, you're going to age. Now, I, I don't think he's washed by any stretch of the imagination. But I don't think he is an MVP anymore. Rob, this year, he had one of the best offensive lines in football. He had two very good running backs who combined for almost 2,000 yards rushing. Had almost like 1,900. And he still never threw once for 300 Yards in a game. And when they needed him to deliver against one of the worst defenses in the league, we talked about it. Daniel Jones looked awesome against Detroit. 300 yards. Rodgers couldn't do it. In a a must-win game, he couldn't deliver 
against the Detroit Lions, who for as good as their offense may be, the defense is horrible. And so, I look, I've said it, and I, I do feel like the Didn't Las you say Vegas that two Raiders years ago? Go, Didn't you say that? It wasn't two years ago. It was no, no, like no, four years ago. But I'm asking you, ago. did you say that And, and if I said it four I'm years ago. I'm asking you. No, I didn't go this far, no. I said he wasn't an all pro, all, all pro, or pro bowler when he was 6'9 and 1. That's what I okay. said. That was the, I the, never the, said. I'm not even saying he's washed now. But I'm saying don't I, compare I, what he did at 35 to what he's doing at 39. And, hey, if that's the case, then I can sit here and say, oh, they thought Tom Brady was washed when he left New England in 2019. That, I mean, it's the same thing. No, at, at a certain age, Father Time's going to win. And so it's not accurate for Aaron Rodgers to talk about what happened four years ago. It wasn't. No, it wasn't four years ago. And the point of it's it 2019. is. It's 2019. No, that, but he played in 2020, 2021, and this is 2022. It okay, four three years, years ago. ago. It's still okay, that is not accurate. There's a year, big difference between 35, Chris, which was his bad season, no, but thir- but and, was 38, and 39. But he won his second MVP 38. at 38. Yeah, but Rob, Peyton Manning was great the year before he fell off. All it right, goes but he was, quickly. Yes, but the difference with Peyton Manning is he was coming off of – he had a major injury that he was coming from, Chris. It's he had a still major age. Injury. We've seen everybody's not going to be Tom Brady. And speaking I didn't say of Tom he Brady, was. I didn't speaking say of Tom was. Brady, who we both said did not have a good season, he had a better season than Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that Aaron Rodgers can't believe that he, he can a, win an MVP. He had it's no fine. running game. You could oh, say Aaron Rodgers can believe what he wants. You can say that you don't believe it. I'm talking about you. I believe it, and I'm criticizing you. For believing that Aaron Rodgers can be an MVP again. Yeah, because I remember and I heard all the NFL talking heads who said he was done at 35. Oh, well, did I don't you know watch about him? All that. Oh, I don't did, know about all that. Bucky that Brooks? wasn't me. Did, I, ain't, I ain't Bucky Brooks, so I don't even know why I, he's in the saying, conversation. Okay. I'm just saying because I remember how ridiculous I thought it was at that time. And I still That's think fine. if you're going to write him he off, was 35 he needs years to have old. two he's bad years for me now. to believe. He needs to have two bad years for me to believe he can't play anymore. That's, That's all fine. I'm saying, Chris. But I all need I know two. is you ripped Tom Brady to shreds. You I need You ripped two. Tom Brady. Okay, fine. You ripped Tom Brady to shreds for how poorly he played this season, and he played better than Aaron Rodgers. I mean, come on. That's, that's a fact. Now, Chris. I do think, again, I think, Rob, Aaron Rodgers can go somewhere and be effective. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he's not going to beat out Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, or whoever else comes up to win that MVP. You had Tom Brady as the MVP last year. He beat Tom right, Brady Right, he was out. second, and he finished second. Okay, I'm just saying. But so you beat, act like he, that was something ridiculous. No, but he beat, but he beat Tom Brady out, and Brady yeah, had better year. numbers. But oh, this yeah. year, Brady yeah. was better. Okay, all Brady I'm got his is, team to the play. Brady had no run game and an offensive line that wasn't as good as Rodgers, and he still played better. He he threw two fewer in, interceptions than Aaron Rodgers. Chris, who, they that's had, his claim to fame. Can I finish? That's his claim to fame. He doesn't throw picks. And this year, Brady threw the ball almost 200 times more than Aaron Rodgers and threw two fewer picks. Rodgers had two rookie starting uh, wide receivers and Alan Lazard. Brady had Mike Evans. And Randall Chris, Cobb. Chris Goodwin, okay. Godwin. And, and he got good Godwin. And he's in the worst division, and they both finish 8-9. They so both So if you want to go and, and have a victory lap about the Bucs and how the great playoffs, Tom Brady Rob. was, they made it because I'm they were in a saying, terrible I've division. I've never said Tom Brady they were was both great. Eight I said and he nine. was better than Aaron They Rodgers. were both 8-9. and nine. Who was and, better this year? And Tom Brady couldn't even complete a pass of 10 yards on third down. 0 for 41. 0 for 41. Did you watch him last Are night? Are you saying that Aaron Rodgers had a better year than Tom All Brady? All I'm telling you is it wasn't okay, that big of a difference. A no. And he didn't that's have a bunch of calls. I ain't he saying had it two was a huge difference. Court, two rookie saying, wide but receivers. But he had a great offensive Tom line. Tom Brady a had a healthy offensive run game. Uh, wide receivers all Brady year. had no run game. Terrible and last and place look, in the red a, zone. Do you need a running game in the red zone? What? You need a Rogers game wasn't in the good zone? in the red zone either. I'm asking you. He went. To, they weren't last. Tampa Bay was last in the red zone. Okay, so what? You need a running back the in the playoffs. red zone. They got further than Aaron 
And Brady had better numbers than Aaron. Aaron put up nine points and 17, or or, or what did he put up in that last 16 against Detroit, the worst defense in the league? Come on, man. No, that's I, Minnesota again, it's not was about the worst. Brady, because I'm not saying Brady's like what he used to be either. And that's the point. Why can't you accept Rodgers ain't what he used to be? We talked about it, Rod. This is why we both picked him to get to the Super Bowl. Because back last year and the year before when he won those MVPs, it didn't matter if Devontae Adams wasn't there. He was great without Adams. He was 7-0. and But this year, you just basically verified it. He couldn't do it with a couple of rookie receivers and Alan Lazard. So that proves it's a difference. But this is good. 